to this special edition of Secret Science. Secret bases are no secret any longer. Google Earth has revealed that every continent has many secret bases. But what exactly goes on in these secret bases? The answer is simple. Advanced technologies are being developed which are decades in advance of anything you can find in your local electronics store. The Pentagon and ruling elite families have always kept their new technologies utterly secret. And they have made profits from these new technologies, sometimes for 50 years or more before the public knew it even existed. But what about advanced technology which has been kept secret not just for decades but for hundreds of years? My name is Chris Everard and welcome to this special edition of Secret Science. The Voynich Manuscript is not a hoax. We know this because firstly, the plants in the illustrations really do exist. Secondly, the Voynich Manuscript language has a structure and a grammar and is not randomly written. It has the hallmark of a real language. The reason that the Voynich Manuscript has not yet been decoded up until now is because you need to be a magician and a druid to understand it. The Voynich Manuscript is a druid's bible. It contains information on medicinal and hallucinogenic plants and contains the cosmology and astrological data used by soothsayers, shamans, magicians and druids throughout the ages. The Voynich manuscript is a copy of several older texts. And some of those original sources came from the Americas. And we know this because there are plants in the Voynich manuscript which were not known before Christopher Columbus officially discovered America. We all know the royal political elite have secret bases and secret technology. The elite have always used encryption to keep their technology secret. It's no accident that the Voynich manuscript is in a library at Yale University, just yards away from the USA's most secret, most notorious magical secret society, the Skull and Bones. It is from this secret society at Yale University, just a few steps from the library where the Voynich manuscript is kept under lock and key, that presidents, vice presidents and some of the captains of international corporations are trained in the occult world. The Voynich manuscript was once owned by Dr. John D who was employed by Emperor Rudolf of Prague and Queen Elizabeth I of Great Britain. The Voynich manuscript was written around the year 1531. It was more than likely commissioned by an aristocrat in the Czech Republic. Its original language was more than likely written in some form of medieval Slovakian language. But after it was written, it was then copied and encrypted. The deciphering key could possibly 
be actually contained within the pages of the Voynich manuscript itself. Amongst the many illustrations, there are circular diagrams. Some people say these are galaxies. And these could easily be traced on see-through paper, cut out and fixed into concentric circles. Dr. John Dee was a renowned mathematician and code breaker. It is highly likely that during his stay with Emperor Rudolf of Prague, Dr. John Dee and his associate, the psychic Edward Kelly, were employed to decipher and decode the world's most mysterious manuscript. The Voynich manuscript, without question, was owned or perhaps partly authored by Dr. John D. We know that the pages are individually numbered in D's own handwriting. D was possibly commissioned by Emperor Rudolf in Prague to decipher this mysterious manuscript. When we analyze the writing within the Voynich manuscript, we can see that none of the vellum has been scraped off, which is the sign of where a mistake has been corrected. The writing looks fairly neat, and many of the characters in the text are fairly complex. However, the preciseness and execution of the drawings are done by someone with limited artistic ability. This is not a book of art. The Voynich manuscript is a book of magic and cosmology. There is a strange use of perspective or fake perspective. There are many tubes and cylinders and illustrations of plants. There are also drawings of human eggs being fertilized by possibly human sperm. And there are also strange circular diagrams which could possibly be spiral armed galaxies. The Voynich manuscript is also a book of technology. Yes, there are microscopes in the illustrations and as every school student knows you can reverse the optics of a microscope and create a telescope which unlocks the secrets of the stars just as we see with the ancient anti-kythera mechanism which is a clockwork astrolabe charting the positions of celestial phenomena the Voynich manuscript is like a paper version of an astrolabe. It contains many astrological and astronomical diagrams.